Coffee with the Editor is proudly brought to you by IRZ and the Railway Safety Regulator, RSR. Benjamin, lovely to see you here at the African Ports and Rail Evolution here in Durban from the Ghana Railway Development Authority. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you. Quite a bit happening in Ghana, so tell me more. Yes, uh, as you are aware, for since uh, post independence, the country has not paid particular attention to the railway sector. With the coming to uh, force of this new government in 2017, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Nanado Danko Akufado, set up a new ministry, Ministry of Railways Development, to pay attention to the railway sector. So the railway was taken off from the uh, Ports and Harbour Authority and uh, set up to set up as a new ministry. And the new ministry has two agencies, Ghana Railway Company Limited. They are the operators of the freight and the passenger lines. And the Ghana Railway Development Authority, uh, the Asan Authority is a regulator of the railway sector, the developer, and the, the grant leases and licenses to uh, operators, uh, among others. And uh, recent projects, projects in the pipeline, we have the Tema and Pakadan which is 97.2 kilometers. Uh, the contract was awarded to AFCON's infrastructure in November 2016, and in July 2017, the work started. Um, we plan to finish by June uh, 2020 uh, with the 97.2 uh, kilometers. Originally, the line was heading towards Akosombo, but because of the turbines, which is a national asset, we didn't want the alignment to get close to the national asset. So there was a diversion at the kilometer 68 to cross the Volta River into the Volta region, North Tongue, then head towards Impakadan. So that project straddles along three regions, Greater Accra, Eastern region, and the Volta region. That's the phase one of the project heading towards uh, Paga. The phase two is from Impakadan to Wakadugu. No, Ghana has an MOU with Ghana, uh, Burkina Faso to construct a rail line from Tema to Ouagadougou, which is about 1,017 kilometers. So after this first phase, the second phase will begin. In fact, with the Ghana Burkina Faso arrangement, uh, the transaction advisors have finished their ways and the tender process is about to, to begin to engage a private uh, partner, to partner the government to construct that rail line. The next one is the Eastern Line, Accra Kumase, which is about 304 kilometers stretch. Uh, concession agreement has been signed with uh, Ghana European Railway Company um, uh, Limited. It's a consortium to construct that line and uh, build, operate, and transfer. Government is looking about between 20 and 35 years of uh, operation and transfer back to the country. The negotiation is about to begin. Uh, though the, there has been some protests, government is trying to solve it amicably so that uh, work can, can begin on that, on that stretch. Then there's a recent one that uh, you, maybe you have heard in the news, Trans Ecowas Line, uh, spanning from Aflao, the border town, to Togo, going through Accra, Cape Coast, Takradu, to Elibo, a border town to Côte d'Ivoire. That's about 575 kilometer stretch of uh, line. Uh, contra uh, MOU has been signed with a uh, coastal railway network to begin uh, uh, feasibility studies, etc., uh, to begin to construct that line under BOT. Um, that one was done just uh, first week in October. And uh, we have another line. What the agreement was also signed with the Chinese company to construct line from Kumasi to Bechim, Kumasi in the Asante region to Bechim in the Brown Hafa region, which is 100 kilometers. That one too uh, is being done. Then we have one that is under construction from Kojokrum to Eshim towards Manson. Kojokrum to Eshim is five kilometers. Um, that is on the western line. Uh, that one is about 55% complete. Um, after that, they will continue from Eshim to Manson, uh, which is also 17 kilometers. We hope that by January 2020, Kojo Chrome to uh, Eshim will be completed. Then, by the end of uh, 2020 or so, uh, Eshim to Manson will also be completed. Now, there's a contract with Wuju, a Chinese company, Wuju Construction Company Limited. They are also constructing from Manson to Dunquao on the western line, which is 100 kilometers. Uh, we plan to use the Chinese Development Bank facility for that uh, project. Uh, Preconditions have been satisfied and uh, awaiting other conditions uh, to be satisfied. Uh, the contractors are on site 
and uh, the moment the facility is ready, uh, work will, will begin. And we plan to finish that one in, uh, by uh, 2021. 20, uh, then we have another line, Kumasi to Paga. That is also about 595 kilometer stretch. Kumasi in the central region to Paga in the uh, northern Savannah uh, regions. Paga is a border town to uh, that uh, Burkina. And uh, that, that one, two feasibility studies have been done. And the very soon tender process will begin to award the contract to a company to construct that uh, route. Now, Interestingly, we had our master plan in 2013, and uh, we are supposed to do about 4,004 kilometers uh, route length of rail line in the country. Um, that master plan is being revised. In fact, the draft revised report is ready. We are doing some stakeholder consultation. By the end of the year, it will fully be ready. What we intend doing is to connect all the major cities by rail, and also there have been some new mineral discoveries in Yinahim bauxite, in Chebi in the eastern region to bauxite, and a, 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 a huge iron ore deposit in Yeji in the northern uh, region. And uh, originally, they were all not in the master plan in 2013. We have to incorporate that. And also, the free zone areas, we want to incorporate that in the revised master plan. So when it's ready by December 2019, then we roll the, the plan out. Apart from that, Accra is now densely populated. Accra has about 2.7 million uh, people in, in Accra. There's, there, there's a need for a metro rail. And the uh, feasibility study has been done. Um, very soon, tender process will begin to award the contract for a rail network in Accra. Kumasi in the Ashanti region to the second city in Ghana, known as a garden city. It also has about 2.5 million people. And now there's a huge traffic, uh, traffic congestion in the city. So there's a need for a metro rail in Kumasi. And that one to feasibility study done. Transaction advisors have done a draft report. We are reviewing the report to see how best uh, rail can be, uh, metro rail can be done also in, in Kumasi. So in general, we have all these route lengths and branch lines to other mineral deposit areas to make sure that Ghana is well connected uh, um, in terms of railways and also connecting it to our neighboring countries, Burkina, linking up, also Charles Ecowas line, linking up to Côte d'Ivoire and also to, uh, to uh, Togo. So in sum, this is what, uh, where we are. We are using both build, operate and transfer, EPC, and the government-owned resources to construct uh, uh, some, of, some, of the, some, some of the lines. We know that rail is capital intensive and long term, but we are doing our best in the circumstance to ensure that uh, Ghana is transformed economically through railway. <laughs>